Hello, I'm Frost and welcome to this episode where we're going to be looking at how to apply mods into Age of Wonders Planetfall. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the mods that have been created by a chap from Canberra in Australia called Juza. Welcome back. So there are two different ways to apply mods to Age of Wonders Planetfall and it is dependent on where you bought your copy. So if you bought it from GOG or directly from the Paradox site, then there is one method. If you bought it from Steam, then there is another. And I will show you both of these very quickly right now. So if you're on GOG or Paradox, uh, then you need to go to mods.paradoxplatz.com in order to download the mods. I will link the description below and that will take you straight through to Juza's uh, mod page, which is right here in front of us now. Now, as you can see, Juza has done three different mods here. Uh, he's got Expanded Arsenal, which covers uh, new units for all the various factions. And then he has two that are specific to secret tech. But first we're gonna look about applying uh, the mods. So like I said, if you're GOG or, or Paradox, then you're on this website. You have to make sure you've got Age of Wonders uh, Planetfall ticked, otherwise these may not actually show up. Also be aware that these only apply to Windows, not to Xbox One or Linux. Now, the way that you apply one of these is you just literally just click on it, uh, you get the description come up, and then you get a subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button, and it then subscribe to the mod. And what will happen is if we then switch to the launcher uh, over here, and we go into DLC, uh, so we go into mods, there we go. Uh, you'll see now that I have uh, Expanded Arsenal, which I installed earlier, and then Xenoplay Racial Expansion, which is installed but currently disabled. And we'll come back to that in a sec. By the way, if you want to find these, you don't have to click, you can literally just scroll down as well in the launcher. Now, coming back to the browser, uh, the way it works with Steam is pretty much exactly the same. I will link all three of these mods down in the description. You go onto the Steam Workshop page for the various mods and just like on the Paradox website, you have a subscribe button, click on the subscribe button, it will just automatically download it and add it to your launcher. So really nice and straightforward. Now, coming back to the launcher, um, if we go back to the mods, uh, you, so the reason why you have this enabled and disabled is, um, first of all, there may be a bug. Uh, I haven't found any with the mods from Juza, so the, these have been super stable, I'll say that straight away. But uh, one of the things you should be aware of is you can't um, use a mod on a game that has already been applied, is that, that you're already playing. Um, and what will happen is it will actually, you'll get an error message telling you that you're likely to have instabilities and crashes. So that this is why it's good to have the enable and disable button. So if you're playing a game uh, that you started prior or doesn't include these mods, then you can just disable the mods and launch. Uh, or otherwise you can start a new game, enable these first, and then they will apply in your new game. And then back to the browser again. <laughs> and so if we look at Expanded Arsenal very quickly, you could see down here uh, that there's a lot of work that has gone into this. And uh, it varies from between four units uh, for certain factions, uh, right up, <clears throat> so excuse me, two units. So for example, the Kirko, uh, only have a couple of units, I believe, but uh, something like the Vanguard have up to 10 different units that are modded. So you go through this list and you'll get an idea. And um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into the game and I'm actually gonna show you what these, uh, some of these units look like for the Shikan in the game. So you get an idea of kind of what's involved in these mods and what you're gonna get with them. Okay, so here we are. We are now in a uh, Age of Wonders Planet 4 game. And I've been playing uh, now 30 turns with the Shikan, and it's what it's done is now enabled me to unlock all of the units that you get uh, with the mod. Uh, that's the expanded arsenal mod. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the colony. And if you look at the colony now, you'll see that we've got some extra units that we don't normally have. So you've got the Shikan Pillager, we have the Shikan Heavy Squad, we have the Shikan Bandit, and we have the Shikan Glaucos. Now, uh, Juza has done a really good job on this. So for example, this is the Shikan Raider. So you can see at the moment they have the standard Omni Carbine, Omni Rush, and the combat experience. And you can look, if you take a good look at their weapon, you can see they've got the Omni Carbine. Now, if we go over to the Pillager, you can see that their weapons have actually changed. There we go. So they have a different weapon because they have a Sono Frequency weapon and then they're fitted with a grenade. Uh, what they then also have is they also have a, a different ability called Assault Infantry, which unfortunately is spelt wrong, Juza, you need to pick you up on that one. 
uh, your U and your A are the wrong way around. But uh, the unit gains 10% evasion against range attacks and is immune to overwatch. So these are great for like literally four assaults because you can run these guys forwards and uh, you don't get affected by overwatch, which is really cool. So those are the pillagers. Uh, then if we go over to, uh, so that's the raiders and pillagers. If we go over to the heavy squad, so what we've got with the heavy squad is uh, we have some infiltrators that have been modded and you can see they've got some extra kind of little uh, features on their, on their bodies there. And these guys have weapons and I like the little flick as well with the weapon, that's pretty cool. So um, the main thing with these guys is they're a heavy unit um, and uh, are they a heavy? No, they're not a heavy unit, sorry, but they have entrench. Now this is really unusual because this is normally a Dvar ability and so this uh, uh, entrench ability has been added to this Shikan heavy squad. Uh, because they get obviously a buff from the entrench, they also then have a nerf, which is exposed flanks, which means that any flanking attack against these units will ignore up to two armor. So I like the way that, uh, that, that these units have been balanced. They're not just completely OP, uh, which makes the game much more interesting that way because you have to take into account the nerfs that apply to each one. Then if we move on to the bandit, for example, uh, so the bandits have shields. Uh, so when they get defense mode, they get a plus two shields and uh, cannot be flanked. Uh, but as a nerf, um, they have, actually have energy shield, which is if they're not in defense mode and they get a flanking attack, then they lose all of their shields because they have two shields and this unit exhorts, ignores up to two shields. So this is really, really interesting what they've, what, uh, what's been done with these units. And then we've got the Glaucos here and the Glaucos, uh, just so you know, some of these units also need to be unlocked. So for example, the Glaucos unit, you can't unlock it until you have trained up propagator deployment. Uh, you'll also need the skirmisher unit building uh, for most of these units as well. But if you look in the description, then you'll see and it will tell you what, what you need to do to unlock the various units. So if we just close that back down again, go back to our Glaucos. Uh, we have uh, the Sono Ebb and Sono Flow. These are actually called the Sonic Ebb and the Sonic Flow on the Refractor. And if you've watched my uh, Shikan in Depth video, you'll know that this works like an essence charge. In other words, that with the Sono Ebb or Sonic Ebb, you, every time you shoot, you get an ebb, and then you can then stack up these ebbs, and then you can then apply those ebbs to increase your damage on a future turn. So uh, there you go. That was just a quick little overlook at these units, but you can see, so you know, the graphics have been updated, the units have been you know, given their own particular look. I particularly like the good use of the infiltrator there and, and the change of weapons. Uh, so yeah, great job on those mods. And uh, there you go. So if you're looking for um, something to add to your Planetfall experience, uh, you know, you've played all the units, you're familiar with all the units, and you want something a little bit different, then I highly recommend all three of these mods. Uh, it will definitely enhance your game even further and uh, give you more hours out of Planetfall, which is definitely a good thing. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give me a like if you did. Uh, also, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications as I do release a lot of content regularly. I stream two days a week, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Wednesday is my Planetfall day. Like I said, if you want to play multiplayer, join my Discord. You can join me on stream in game. And then I normally release videos a couple of days a week as well, normally on Tuesdays and Fridays. So I will keep you busy in the world of sci-fi gaming. Thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, bye.